Hey there, Deadly Habit here, going to show you how to install the Shaders for Kids settings for the GLSL Shaders mod by Dax Nitro, real quick. Okay, doing this with a fresh install on Minecraft, so there will be no conflicts, and that way you know what to do straight from the get-go. Uh, while I'm waiting, I'll tidy up my desktop a little bit, I guess. Uh, for Firefox 4. Uh, this is downloading slow today. Okay, good to go. Alright. So, the first thing I'm going to do, close that out. Go to my Minecraft Mods folder. Gonna run the HD patcher real quick, so I have compatibility with Minecraft for Kids texture pack. Okay, good to go. Okay, I already extracted uh, the shaders installer and the shaders for kids uh, settings. Shaders for Kids settings, this is where they will be extracted to. Just navigate to it, Contents, Files, Shaders... And yeah, these are the files that you'll be editing. Oh wait, let me open this in Edit++ Plus Plus as it's easier to read. Okay, my final um, VSH, the only thing I'm changing in it is the settings for where the outlines, uh, the threshold for it, because otherwise I get like uh, angle lines in my clouds and stuff like that. So I just changed that to 0.75. Now, I'll open this in Edit++. Plus Plus. Um, this is where you would toggle true or false for if you want to turn on or off any of the settings. Just highlight that real quick. So if you want to turn off waving water or uh, the waving trees, anything like that, that's where you'd change it to false instead of true. Okay, so that's all set up. All right, just run the installer. Okay, check the log. Alright, it's installed good. So, the only last thing I'm going to do is install uh, the client-side mod of Wildgrass. Just because I haven't tested the mod loader compatibility with any of my other mods yet. And this will just be the quickest and easiest way to do it. Okay. Client. Simple drag and drop. Okay. And Wildgrass is installed. So, let's run this and test it real quick. Oh, and I should also note uh, with the shaders, um, when you put the initial um, file in there, the mods will just be for depth the field and everything. You have to extract the shaders for kids into where I showed you uh, the base VSH and all that is. Okay, switch over to Minecraft for kids. Good to go. All right, start a new world for this. Okay, just call it uh, install test or something like that. Yeah, install test sounds good. Terrain. And there you have it. You've got your cell shaders, outlines, and uh, all the other effects that Shaders for Kids adds in. Waving grass, and wild grass is working fine. Trees are waving. Yep, yeah, looks like it's good to go. Just run around real quick and double check. Stupid achievement. Yep, the grass is waving, the trees are waving. Yeah, but that's all there really is to it. Um, if you want to install any other mods, I had a video covering how to do that. Make sure to check the readmes that come with them or on the forums. As far as com cross compatibility of mods, uh, that's up to you to find out. 